Hey, what's good day, everybody? This is Sports Fan News. I'm Joe Borg, and this is going to be another Calder Cup Series preview as we look at the Moose versus the Admirals. We're first going to start at net where they have a good developing rookie, Arvid Holm. But you would have to think they would go with Mikel Berdine in this one as he played over 30 games. Was very good in cage. Had over, not very good, he was good in cage, I should say. Had over a 900 save percentage. Is a guy that obviously has more experience. Arvid Holm is the rookie. So you would have to think they would go with Mikel Berdine. And, um,. But obviously the bread and butter of the Manitoba Moose as they were the team that were two points ahead of the Milwaukee Admirals this season was their stellar scoring and offense and it wasn't like they... And they had solid dude defensive play and good contributing goaltending. I wouldn't call Berdeen one of the best in the AHL, but he's definitely a good goaltender in the AHL that's continuing to have room to grow and continues to have a lot of room to grow only having played 127 games himself. So obviously he's not the most experienced vet, but I like I said in previous videos for the minor league teams, when I do the minors, I kind of rank different tiers of vets where the fourth tier vet is kind of once you hit the 100 games because obviously if you're a guy that's going to make it, you want to make it by the 100 to two something games. So you don't want to be, if you're a guy that obviously your goals are make the NHL, you don't necessarily want to be a vet that plays 600 something games, but it's also a great feat because you're one of the best, say 2,000 players, even if you count the ECHL level or whatever in the league or in the world that it is having all three of those levels. So either way, it's a great feat to be a veteran, but that's kind of just how I look at it. So they have a guy that's a rookie and a guy that's a fourth-tier vet in net when it comes to the Manitoba Moose. Now, when it comes to the Milwaukee Admirals, they obviously had a elite-level AHL goaltender in net that was still growing, a guy that came back from the NHL's assistant program and continued to grow, plus a young netminder that's going to continue to get bred or in Devin Cooley. It's going to be interesting... Um, to see what happens in cage for them, because similar to what happened with the Wilkes-Barre Scranton Penguins, the Admirals don't have their number one netminder, as Ingram really was a guy that they put a lot on, played over 50 games, was huge in cage for the Admirals, but of course he is up due to the injuries in cage for the Nashville Predators. He is up with the Nashville Predators right now. And obviously got the game and played very good in the second game of that series. Unfortunately got the loss in OT, but was fantastic himself. So it's going to be riding with the rookie, Devin Cooley, who's a very good, talented rookie, but still showed a lot of um, kinks in that iron in his first season because he has rooms to grow, which is what you see with goaltenders a lot. They take a few years in the AHL, except for the stud Rushmore level one sometime. But he, so... I would say Cooley's a guy <clears throat> that has a chance to really play well in this series, but it definitely hurts the Admirals that they don't have their veteran, Connor Ingram, since Cooley's a great, young, talented goalie and a talented prospect. He just isn't fully there yet, as it goes along with similar to what I said about Syracuse, where it's nice that they have the legacy because they don't have to use their young guys that aren't fully there yet, where when it comes to Pittsburgh now, they have to use their Oreos, uh, or et cetera, et cetera, that aren't fully there yet. So it's going to be an interesting thing. This plays in with the Admirals as well, where now they have to use Cooley, who's a good young talent, but isn't fully there yet, instead of Connor Ingram, since he is up, of course, with the Nashville Predators. Obviously, on defense, Donovan's a very good defenseman, a little bit more attack-wise in the offensive zone. Davies is good on both zones. Delgazzo is obviously a solid guy. Viega's a veteran. David Ference is a rookie in the league that started doing pretty solid this season. He's a defenseman. I like that. I think eventually he could end up being a guy up in Nashville as well. So I do really like the defense of the Milwaukee Admirals. Plus, I do really, obviously, I loved their goaltending when they had Ingram. Now with Cooley, he's still developing. I definitely have to give the Manitoba Moose the advantage I never thought I would be doing over the Admirals because I thought Ingram would be in but Burdine, even though he's still that tier four uh veteran because he only played just over 100 games him and a home who are very who's a very good rookie but he still is showing kinks in his armor as well they have those two where when you look at the Admirals uh they they're really gonna have to pull at strings here because they have Cooley and the only other goaltender that even played in this season, I believe, was Parker Cahagan, who's really more of an ECHL guy at this point, so they're not going to want to go to him. So it's going to be interesting to see 
if cool he's able to step up for him. It's not that I doubt his talent. I think he's going to be a very talented goalie. It's just his rookie season, and he hasn't fully shown signs to be ready yet, especially for the damn Kelly Cups, where it's a playoffs, where it's a completely different animal. Or, excuse me, the Calder Cup playoffs, I cover all three levels. The Calder Cup playoffs, where it's a completely different animal and beast. Uh, you don't necessarily want to throw a rook into the fire. That's why I have to lean... With this one, with the goaltending, I think the Manitoba moves these teams. There's a very even series this year, which makes it even harder to predict, but more fun to cover. Um, the, the the Moose and Milwaukee Admirals are very even, too, but because the goaltending has to go in favor of the Moose after Ingram's up, I would have to lean with the Manitoba Moose in this one. Obviously, Esmont, Esmont on forward, Malo, Mayer, um, Jones... Just to name a few, Gustafsson, um, Kovacevic they have on defense, who's a very good in both ends defenseman, so that really helps. Uh, Chisholm's very solid in both ends, so I really like how the Moose have great both end defensemen. They have the better goaltending in this series as well, due to the fact that Ingram is up. Gotta lean with the Manitoba Moose in this one, so I'm definitely taking the Moose in this one. So this was another five-gamer. I was doing a lot of the three-gamer. Gonna still do the series recap to Ontario Rain. Haven't been able to get that one in yet. This is a five-gamer series preview to the Manitoba Moose versus Milwaukee Admirals. Peace, everybody. Stay safe. Please subscribe down below. Up above the easy juice widget to keep us growing to the goal of 250 or more by the start of June. Enjoy the hockey, everyone.